I got a brand new 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. The name is Lesua Tele. Cool thing about this battery, it has two USB-A ports built into the side of it with a power button that turns those ports off and on and another three pin round control connector for something. I'm going to find out later what that is. But you can plug your phone or your tablet or even a radio, so several radios directly into the battery. The battery can charge you. You just plug your USB-A cable in. You can charge the ID52 with USB-A, USB-A to micro. You can charge the uh, Yaesu FT5 or FT3, any of the, a lot of the Yaesu series with the USB-A to a proprietary round plug. Well, you can kind of see this right here. Okay, so it's got this carry handle. It's got these copper uh, screw top bolts on top of it where you can take those completely out and put some ring terminals on it. The coolest thing about it is going to be this right here. This right here, you can turn the battery off and on which is really kind of fun. If you don't want your battery getting drained, then you can just turn it off. Well, I don't know if this button here controls the top ports or not, but it does control this proprietary job right here, which I think you can charge it uh, via cable with that. But the coolest thing about it is it has its own USB port. So you can plug your phone or your tablet or even like your FT5 or your D74 or your ICOM ID52. You can plug those directly in here. So you can charge them directly from the battery and you don't even need a, you know, like a charge controller, a battery box or anything. It's almost like its own battery box built into it. Front of the battery right there. We're gonna do a power test on this battery right now. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason, I'm KC5HWB. I love these battery tests because I get to see how batteries measure up to one another. Check a link in the description below for the company that sent me the battery, their website, and the discount codes that might apply to this battery. So we're gonna go over here right now and pull up the CBA5 software from West Mountain Radio. This is where I do all of my battery tests from. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here, actually. Okay, so I've already clicked on this once, but if I click on detect, it detects the voltage at 13.8 volts. I, I manually set the uh, amp hour capacity to 100 amp hours. Made sure I had this battery all charged, nice and charged up before putting it on the testing stations. Very important. It was about 70% charged when I got it. So not bad, but I did want to get it charged to 100% so we get an accurate test. And it also detected the cells as the number of four, four cells. No amplifier. We're going to click on start this test right now. 100 amp hours is going to take about four days. 24 hours a day times four days is 96 hours. So four days and four hours it's going to take this test to complete. So stick around, and then we're going to see how this test fares. Stay tuned. Okay, that took about four days. You can see it comes in at 108, measured 108.2 amp hours. So that is 108% capacity. That's pretty good. 1,403 watt hours. Test time was 6,492 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, 100 amp hours is 96 hours is four days. 24 hours in a day, 24 times four is 96, 96 hours. So 100 amp hours takes about four and a half days, or four and a quarter days. There you go. And this one was a little bit even over that. So I'd say this is a win. I'd say this battery has done well above well and beyond what it was advertised to do and it is going to be a good addition check the links in the description below for all details of, th of this battery i know that they're going to offer you my audience some discount codes they're going to e email that to me as soon as i send them this video so check the description below for that and let me know what battery you'd like to see tested next time 73